Hi everyone, and welcome back to Family Tree Support, where we make your genealogy journey smoother, smarter, and more enjoyable. If you're using Family Tree Maker 2024, you've probably noticed that there are a few powerful but often overlooked features that can save you time, stress, and even protect your data from accidental mistakes. So in today's video, I'll walk you through five essential tips and tools you should know including how to undo recent changes, manage your contacts, set couple relationship statuses, and even expand your tree view to work more efficiently. Grab a cup of tea, and let's dive in. 1. Undoing recent changes in FTM 2024 We've all been there. You make a quick change to a person's record, and moments later realize something's gone wrong. Maybe you merged the wrong individuals, deleted a fact, or added an incorrect date. Here's the good news. Family Tree Maker 2024 has your back with the Turn Back Time feature, which lets you undo recent changes and restore your tree to an earlier state. To use it, go to the Current Tree tab. Click on Tools Turn Back Time. You'll see a timeline showing all recent changes, including edits, merges, and deletions. Simply select a point in time before the unwanted change, click Restore, and FDM will safely revert your tree. It's like having a built-in time machine for your family tree. Just remember, the more frequently you sync or back up, the more restore points you'll have available. So if you haven't used Turn Back Time yet, it's one of the most important safety nets in FTM 2024. 2. Granting access to contacts, windows. Next up, let's talk about granting FTM access to your contacts. This comes up when you want to easily share your tree, email chart reports, or link individuals with your contact list. If you're using Windows, here's what to do. Open Family Tree Maker. Go to Edit Preferences Contacts. You'll see a prompt asking for permission to access your system contacts. Allow access, and make sure Family Tree Maker is listed as a trusted app in your Windows settings. Once you've done that, you can automatically pull names and email addresses from your contacts, making it easier to share reports or collaborate with relatives. It's a small feature, but it saves you typing out every address manually, and keeps your communication smooth and organized. 3. Granting access to contacts, Mac now, if you're on a Mac, the process is slightly different, but just as simple. Here's how to do it. Go to System Settings Privacy and Security Contacts. Look for Family Tree Maker in the list. Toggle the switch on to grant access. Then, when you open FTM, you'll be able to link directly to your Apple Contacts app. This means you can send charts or updates straight from your FTM project. No need to copy and paste email addresses or risk typos. One tip, if FTM still can't access your contacts after toggling the permission, close and reopen both the app and system settings. macOS sometimes needs a refresh for the new permission to take effect. 4. Choosing a status for a couple's relationship Now let's look at something that really improves clarity in your family tree. Relationship Status Options for Couples In earlier versions, you could link two people as a couple, but you couldn't always clarify the nature of that relationship. In FTM 2024, you can now specify a relationship status. Here's how to do it. Open a Person's Family tab. Click the Spouse icon or the Relationship line between two partners. Choose Edit Relationship. Under Relationship Status, select the appropriate option, such as Married, Engaged, Divorced, Separated, Common Law, or Unknown. This not only helps organize your research, but also prevents confusion later, especially when you're printing charts or sharing data with others. You can even add notes about dates or details of the relationship, for instance, when a divorce was finalized or when a partnership began. For Genealogists, this level of precision matters, because relationships tell stories, and stories make our trees come alive. 
5. Expanding sections of the tree tab. Finally, let's talk about something that helps you see the big picture. Expanding sections of the tree tab. In Family Tree Maker 2024, the tree tab now allows more flexibility for viewing and expanding sections of your family tree. Here's how to use it effectively. When you open your tree, hover over the arrows next to individuals' names. Click the arrow to expand or collapse a family branch. You can expand one line, such as just your maternal or paternal side, or open up multiple branches to view extended families at once. This makes it much easier to navigate large trees, especially if you're working with thousands of individuals. And if you combine this with FTM's View by Relationship or Descendant View options, you can focus on exactly the part of your family that needs attention without getting lost in an ocean of names. A great tip is to use this view before printing or exporting a chart so you can confirm that every connection looks right. So there you have it, five incredibly useful Family Tree Maker 2024 tools that make managing your research faster, safer, and clearer. Undoing recent changes with turn back time, Granting access to contacts, Windows. Granting access to contacts, Mac. Choosing a couple's relationship status. Expanding sections of the tree tab. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest Family Tree Maker tutorials and genealogy tips. And if you'd like more in-depth guides like this, Join our Family Tree Support Membership, where we post exclusive troubleshooting videos, update reviews, and step-by-step -step software walkthroughs. Thanks for watching, and happy researching!